I kind of became known within the high school as like a representative of the music. Like I was the kid who was making the pause button mixtapes uh, for people who What's a pause me button too. mixtape. For people me too. who got the time to get to know me and would find out about that. So that yeah, sort of, it gave too. me a bit of a role. And then I, you know, I started doing my radio show in my oh, senior year of high school. You gotta pause there. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's a pause button mixtape? I think I know what it is, but just in case you should explain it stills. Yeah, so if you didn't have turntables, which I did not, which answers your question about DJing, I just, I didn't have the equipment for that and couldn't afford to buy it. Like yeah. 12, 1200s are very expensive, as you may know. Yeah. I wasn't, I didn't have nearly that type of budget. So if you didn't have turntables, you would make a pause button mixtape, which is um, if you're recording something on a cassette tape, if you press stop and then you press record again, it makes a noise. Like there's a little blank. But, but what you learn is if instead of stopping, you're recording and then you press pause, it doesn't make any noise. And if you press pause exactly on the beat and then you unpause exactly on the beat in a different place, it comes back on exactly on beat. Mm. So what that means is you can slowly, meticulously build, build a, a, a type of mix where everything yeah. is on beat together, kind of like you would if you were DJing and mixing the tempo. So if you were willing to put in the time, you know, it's like, you know, the, you know, those videos where someone laid down like 10,000 dominoes and then they knock it down. You know, it took them like a day and a half to make that. But you watch it happen in a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. That's what a pause button mixtape was like, like mm -hmm. just bit by bit. Or it's like, you know, stop motion animation where you moving it a little bit and it takes mad long. Um, but you put it together and then it just flows like that. That's what pause button mixtapes were like. You know the poor the poor man's DJing. That if you yes, really put work yes, into it, yes, it <laughs> I'm so glad you, you really shared that. Work, it could sound like you were really doing something. That's a big time yeah, knowledge nugget, for real. Like it's for I, all of us who couldn't afford, I couldn't afford. My right. parents were not. They were not like like back then. Like no, hip hop is like that's your like thing, whatever. But like you're not. We're not spending money on this. Like you don't get to like have this equipment. You don't get to like, you know, have anything that you can record on, like a microphone or nothing. Like I didn't even know because I didn't know about like turning the headphone into like the yeah, microphone yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Like yeah, I didn't yeah. even have friends that were up on that. So I didn't even have that advantage of like making my own little, you know, make you know, raps at home on on a on a tape. Like I didn't even get to have that advantage. So like pause, like pause tapes was like that's what i had and that i had to refine that art right as, like as like best as i could because that was gonna be the thing that was like yo ray make some good tapes you know yeah, like, exactly. exactly all right and then you would sell those no 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 no, no. i mean some there may be some people out there that are doing that but for me it was just like so like in my friend group people knew that I made these tapes and even, you know, it might just be for myself. Like I, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, sort of a precursor to doing a radio show, like spending all this time building something and curating it. I like that. I like that you shared that. It's real cool. Uh, we definitely got a comment that was flat out. That should become a clip. Like that's how interesting it is. Cause we didn't grow up like that. A lot of us, I mean, I'm already in CD line. We're talking MP3 discs is my right. high school. Right. So like, to me, right. it's like, and why it's important is if we look at the music today, and especially some of the conversations in the big game happening between older and younger heads, I don't think there's an understanding of like these kind of obstacles you faced versus me hitting control R. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, non-destructive <laughs> editing is amazing. If you if you grew up doing something like pause button mixing or even uh, editing, like I, I learned how to edit on reel to reel tape with a razor blade and you got to think real hard about every choice you make because you can't Wait. undo. <laughs> literally they would cut things out and, and reattach it yeah 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 that's big man and that's that's what i don't think people understand about a lot of that early stuff like what the bomb squad was doing on nation of millions like they don't have any of this technology we have today to just move a million sounds here and there and then start over rethink it try a million different options like they were in the studio with all these reel to reels, like each person controlling one. And like you, when you had to do that with analog equipment, there was a level of ingenuity that had to come to it that
Thank you.